Majority of homes will either use electricity or gas to heat water through a geyser. And while each of these has its pros and cons, there's a few simple ways that you can save on both your water and energy usage and at the end of the month reduce your spend. Now water heating is broadly divided into either a centralized or a decentralized system. But what does that mean? A centralized system means that you typically have one geyser feeding the whole house, the bathrooms, the kitchens and so forth. Now geysers are normally installed near the bathroom. But what if your kitchen's on the other side of the house? Every time you open the tap, you're wasting red water. Incidentally, red water is the water you waste while waiting for the hot water to come through. And yes, we normally let that go down the drain. Catch that water, use it for pot plants, the dog's bowl, throw it in the pool, just don't waste it. It all adds up and heat loss on a centralized system can be as much as 40%. Having a decentralized or point of use system means that you're only heating the water at the point of use. And these systems have minimal heat loss of around 3%. This Ariston Andrus 15 Lux is a 15 liter unit that is a 1500 watt element. That's a bit less than a kettle. These are typically used in kitchens, home laundries, or anywhere where you need hot water quickly and often, and are great in reducing water consumption and avoids running the large element in the geyser. These are fitted with a 15 amp plug, so it's literally a plug and play system. You may however need a plumber to come and isolate your water supply and connect it for you. These are also currently available in both a 10 and 30 liter unit. Gas units are better suited for larger hot water water points, such as baths and showers. Again, they only heat the water that's being used. Now this particular gas heater is the Ariston Fast R. It's an 11 liter unit. That's 11 liters of hot water per minute and a gas consumption of only 1700 grams per hour. It's ideal for a kitchen. It takes two D-cell batteries for the igniter, which means that you still have hot water during power outages. It has a flame size as well as a flow rate adjustment that you can set for optimum heat and gas usage. Your installer will usually do this for you. Now for a bathroom, I'd personally look at a 16 liter, but the principle is the same. Just remember that gas installations need to be done by a registered installer and a compliance certificate should be issued. Now Ariston also have the Aura Slim and the Slim Multi. These are hyperspeed instantaneous hot water devices, better suited for a bath or a shower. The difference between the models is that the Multi is better suited for multiple hot water outlets. Now these do use a large amount of power, 3.5 and 12 kilowatts respectively, but don't let that scare you. Remember you're only heating the water you're using. The Aura Slim does come with a shower head attachment, but both of these need to be installed by a qualified electrician. They need their own separate circuit with a circuit break in the distribution board. These are not plug and play systems and certainly not designed to run on an extension lead. The plumbing is fairly simple once the electrician has done his job. There are a few other tips to remember on saving water and electricity. On electric geysers, fit a geyser timer. This allows you to decide when the geyser runs and avoids the geyser being on 24-7. As much as the element will control when power is being used, there's no point keeping water hot when it's not needed. Rather heat what you need when you need it, the same as you would do in a kettle. Wrap your geyser with a geyser blanket as it helps to prevent the heat radiating out of the geyser. Dave did a video on this, check the link in the description below. Now basin mixers are a huge culprit in water wastage. So many people simply lift the lever in the middle just to rinse their hands. When the lever's in the middle, you are drawing hot water, which in turn replaces cold into the geyser and the element turns on consuming power. Get into the habit of keeping the mix in the cold position, usually that's to the right, and fit water saving shower heads where you can. Now on both electric and gas, reduce the temperature via the thermostat or the flame size to a usable temperature. There's no point heating water excessively hot and then adding cold water to the mix. However, if you have a gravity-fed geyser or have poor water pressure, you may need to add a bit of cold water to get a decent shower. Now, installing these types of point-of-use systems may at times seem overkill, but in the long run, it'll save you on your wallet and provide you with almost instant hot water. These are just some of the Ariston geyser options available at Builders, both in-store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.